happy Sunday. Today I decided to um, bring y'all along to see what I will be cooking today for today's Sunday dinner. I was thinking about um, recording myself every Sunday to let you guys see what I cook on Sundays for my family. And it may be days that we might go out and eat and I can show you guys that as well. I'm not for sure, we'll see how it um, goes with that. But on today's Sunday dinner, we will be having smothered pork chops, rice and gravy, corn on the cob, and that is it. I had to look at my ingredients. <laughs> so yeah, so that's all we are having for today. Normally, I will um, fry the pork chop with uh, lemon pepper seasoning, but it's Sunday. I feel like that's more of a weekday meal. And, you know, honestly, I have a taste for um, rice and gravy. And it's going to be homemade gravy. Hopefully, I remember how to do it, how my mom taught me, because I haven't made gravy from scratch in a long time. So, we'll see how it go. I think um, it'll turn out well. So, just to recap, we're going to be having smothered pork chops with rice and gravy. I'm going to put the um, gravy on top of the pork chops as well with corn on the cob. So let's get cooking. Okay y'all, we're going to start on seasoning the pork chop. So I'm just going to use the adobo seasoning for the pork chops. I used it last, did I use it last time? No, I don't think so. that I patted the pork chop dry what I'm gonna do right now is use a fork to poke holes in it and the reason why I'm using a fork to poke holes in it is because in the past when I would fry the pork chop it will bubble up or pop up in the middle and I would need to use a knife to cut it in order for it to lay down flat so it can fry properly so my mom told me to get a fork and poke holes in it to see if that would work. And I must say it has worked so far. So now I'm seasoning the pork chops with the adobo seasoning. I must say it makes the pork chops taste good and then I'm going to um, put the pork chops in the flour. Now, I think I just used plain flour. I didn't put anything in the flour. So I'm just going to uh, only have the adobo seasoning on the pork chop. Okay. 
So now I'm just going to let the pork chop fry. When all the pork chop is finished frying, I'm going to set it aside and then I'm going to start on my gravy. And the oil that I use to fry all of my meats is avocado oil. Now it's time to make the gravy. So the way that I'm making this gravy is I left some of the, the pork chop drippings inside the pan and then I'm going to add flour. Later on, I realized that I didn't have enough pan drippings left over. So I'm just going to get some and put just a little bit more in there. And then once I do that, I'm just going to um, keep stirring the flour. At first, it wasn't looking right to me. And I'm going to get some beef broth and pour that in the pan and whisk that together. Now that I got the gravy to the thickness that I like it, what I'm going to do now is add some seasoning to it and I'm going to use my mom's mixture. I call it my mom's mixture because I just named it that. 
but what it is is just garlic powder garlic onion onion powder and onion salt that's it Now it's time to add the pork chops to the gravy. Once I do that, I'm going to put the lid back on. I'm going to uh, cut it down on low and just let it simmer for about 30 minutes to an hour. Now I'm just showing y'all the rice. While I was cooking the pork chops, I had the rice cooking in the rice cooker. I just want to thank you all for joining us for Sunday dinner. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And Lord's willing, I will try to post on Sundays what I cook my family for dinner. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Um, also, comment and share. Lord's willing, we will see y'all in the next video. God bless and take care. Thank you.